Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Canning Nana and happy Thanksgiving. So what you see me doing here is my famous Thanksgiving and Christmas turkey stuffing. So what makes this different? Well, I add apples, Italian sausage, celery, onions, and walnuts to this. So what I do is I cut them all up. I saute it in this pan with about three quarter stick of butter, maybe one stick of butter, depending on how much you're making, and cook it all down. And then you're gonna add this to your stuffing, your bread stuffing mix. Um, whether you make that yourself or it's a packaged stuffing, um, not the packet packet, um, but the just the bread stuffing. You're, this is, you're gonna season this with this. You're just gonna add this to it. So you're gonna cook it all down. And what I do also is I add butter and I add some wine and it's a dry wine. Um, yes, it has alcohol in it. Um, don't worry if you don't drink alcohol, the alcohol um, completely cooks out of it. Um, so you just have the, the good flavor but not the alcohol inside. So I will take you guys along. Let's cook this down smells amazing. And then we're going to add it to our bread stuffing. Okay, so we are stuffing about a 17 pound bird. Um, so what we did is two cups of celery, two cups of onions, about a cup of apples, um, three Italian sausage links, and about three quarter cups of chopped walnuts in here and a three quarter stick of butter so far. Okay, so I am going to be adding some of this Sauvignon Blanc, which is cheap wine, just adding flavor to it. And this is just Aldi. I'm just gonna add a little teeny bit because we're gonna be adding more to the stuffing once I put it all together. I just wanna incorporate the flavors of it and then we'll start adding it to the stuffing mix. Okay, and here is our cooked down gravy ingredients, or stuffing ingredients, right there. And I'm going to add this to our stuffing, to this stuffing right here. This is herbed, amazing dried bread. Doesn't matter what you guys use. Um, this is about four cups of stuffing, and it is delicious. Okay, so here I've got um, a stick and a half of butter, and I just put this on the dry stuffing ingredients, and I'm going to add all of this great mixture to it in just a second. Okay, back at the stuffing. So I've got all of this on top of the bread mixture down here. You guys can tell I'm doing this with one hand because uh, my husband's doing other things. So what you want to do is you want to mix it all in here together with the stuffing mix, and then I'm going to add the wine to it. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have mixed all of this up, and it's very dry. So this is a very dry stuffing because we're going to stuff the turkey with it, and I'm also going to do a separate casserole and just pat it with a couple pieces of butter, put it in the air fryer or the oven, whatever, um, when we're ready to eat it. So what I'm gonna do now is just add a little bit more wine. That's about the only thing it's missing. Again, we don't want to add too much because we don't want a wet stuffing. And I'm just going to mix this up with the spoon. Probably do it off camera again because I am one-handed here, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so yes, my wrist is still bothering me. <clears throat> so I'm going to mix this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what your stuffing should look like after you add your butter, your wine, all of your ingredients and everything just like that. Um, you can taste it. You can smell it and make sure that it's seasoned enough. And just put it in the turkey the way you normally would any stuffing. And like I said, I'm going to put this, the rest of it, into a small casserole dish and just put a couple of pats of butter on it so that it's ready to go. Put it in the oven with no cover. Let it get really crispy when you guys are ready to make it at 350 degrees and you're good to go. 
Um, also, a good tip when you're making uh, stuffing that's in your turkey, take it out, put it in a casserole dish, and then stick it in the oven uncovered for about 15 minutes, kind of turning it around this way. Everything gets really crispy, really well cooked, and you don't have a soggy stuffing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you soon with more recipes. Uh, the word of the day on this video is going to be stuffing. So please comment, please like this video, um, and you must be subscribed, so please subscribe to the video in order to be eligible to win my giveaways, which are coming up. Um, everything's been a little bit delayed because of my trip, so we're not going to be doing a giveaway probably until early December <clears throat> at this point. So uh, hang in there, guys. There will be a giveaway for each Word of the Day video, just like always, and um, enjoy. I will see you soon. Don't forget the Word of the Day.